What is going on, everybody? Back on the bike again for another ride. And you might be able to tell by seeing my arms, I got a jacket on today. It's a little chilly. The sun's not out. Probably wouldn't be so bad if the sun was out. But it is October 15th, 2023. It is 2.38 in the afternoon and it's 64 degrees and cloudy. It's kind of, it's a little chilly out here today. Ooh. I tell you, I like the, I like cold weather. But the only thing I don't like about it is when I get on my bike and ride. So, oh, that wind is cool. We're just gonna ride around a little bit. Been a little busy today. We gave a we gave a common midterm Thursday night from seven to nine at night. It's our pre-calculus class. We've got 14 sections, 14 classes. And they were all up there taking their test. And we have to do common grading. And what that is, is I think there's nine teachers teaching the classes, nine, nine different teachers and they give each of us uh, a couple of problems to grade. I had two problems. Well, one of the problems has two parts, so it was kind of like I had to grade three. And I got them all graded, but one section, there was one section they didn't add it. They, they didn't add the other teachers to their grade scope, so they said they were gonna do it. So probably when I get home, I'll probably go and uh, probably go and uh, grade that class. Shouldn't take me about maybe, probably take me about five to 10 minutes. Doesn't take very long, just those two problems. Uh, haven't been doing a whole lot, just yesterday I, I watched football games pretty much all day. Oh, this is a dead end right here. But now I watched some football games, college football. And I played a little putt-putt last night. I played uh, Golf Plus. The Golf Plus Tour started. I haven't played my tournament round yet. I've been practicing. They changed the swing physics in the game. Everything's different now. They took the power meter away. So like if I was hitting a club and that club hits 110 yards and I was like 90 yards out, I could change the power of the club to maybe like 85% or so. Well, they took that out. Now it's based on how hard you swing. And I used to could pull the grip button on my controller and an arc would come out from the ball and help me line up my shot because I play on amateur instead of pro. Well, that line's not there anymore. You got to line up yourself. So I've been having to practice. My scores hadn't been as good. I've been playing putt, of course I've been playing putt-putt, play that every night. And then, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, and I got, the, I got a new bowling game. I had four VR bowling, and I bought the premium bowling. A lot of people said it was better than the forever bowling. And I tell you, I have to agree with them. I think it's a lot better. It's more realistic. 
you actually feel like you're at the bowling alley bowling. And the other thing I like in there is they have league play, where you play, you join the weekly league, you bowl three series. Each series consists of three, uh, three rounds, th three rounds of bowling, three games of bowling. And so for a total of nine games, and they take your two best series and add them together, and that's where you finish. And guess where I finished? The the weekly, the weekly one's done. They have a weekly and a monthly one. But so far in every every league play that I've bowled in, I have finished dead last. <laughs> I just I don't know. I hadn't I hadn't been playing for a I hadn't been bowling a long time on the game, but uh, yeah, that's where I finished, dead last. So my, so my goal is to move up, not finish last. Maybe I can slowly move up the rankings. I actually, I told my, I told my wife, she likes, she likes the bowling game. I told my wife, I said, you need to get on there and bowl in the league so I won't be last, you will. <laughs> she laughed about that. But no, she uh she'd probably be pretty good if she uh if she played more on the bowling. She likes playing the putt putt and golf, but she likes the bowling too. When her stepdad was alive, he raised her since she was I think two or three years old. When he was alive, they had a Wii. They bought it for the grandkids. And, uh, but he found that bowling game on there and he loved playing that bowling game on the Wii. He would always, he'd call my wife all the time, ask her to come over and have a cup of coffee and do some bowling with him. And she'd go over there and do it. He, I think he could sit there and play that all day. We were bowling the other. We were bowling the other day, me and my wife. I said, "Boy, I tell you, he would love this game." Um, <clears throat> but now that's about all I've been doing today. I got up this morning, watched the church service. It was a good one. And then I sat around for a little bit, uh, watched a little bit of TV, and, and then I uh, graded some papers, and and then I uh, watched a little more football, and I just couldn't watch the Saints anymore. They weren't doing too good. I tell you, that offensive line just can't block very good. And so then I, uh, I said, well, I'm gonna go hop on the bike and go for a ride. Well, boy, you sure got close, didn't you? Man, he was right there by me. Good thing I didn't swerve over just a little bit. No, but I think now the quarter, the fall quarter is about halfway over. Fall quarter, we don't get any breaks. Winter quarter, it'll start. Well, we'll be out between, we'll be out on the fall, between fall and winter break. I mean, fall and winter quarters, we'll be out for about a week, week and a half. We go for about three weeks and then we get out for two weeks for Christmas. So. We got plenty of breaks there. You know, I can't remember if I've ever been down this road or not. I'm sure it's a dead end. Well, that, that way's a dead end too, but let's just ride back here and see what we got. Oh, oh yeah, it goes on back a little ways. Okay. This goes 
goes on back further than I thought. Now I bought, uh, well, my daughter, she's been, uh, she's been, she reads a lot of books now. She loves to read, which that's a good thing. And she was reading a book, she was reading a book last night when I went in her room. And uh, yesterday she came in there and asked my wife, she said, you gonna go with me to Books A Million tomorrow? Which she meant today. And she wanted to, there was a book she wanted to buy. She's fixing to go and uh, babysit a dog, a dog sit. And when she dog sits this dog, she can't leave the house because the owners don't want the dog by itself at any time. So when she's there, she's there. She, she can't leave, she can't go anywhere. Now every now and then, the, somebody will come over there and she can leave when somebody's there. But uh, she was gonna go buy a book to read while she was dog sitting. Oh, here's another road. Let's go down this one and see what we got. And uh, so anyway, I noticed, you know, I noticed she was reading a lot. And so me and my wife, we were gonna go get some food for supper. And, uh, and I told my wife, I said, you wanna go buy, you wanna go to Best Buy and get her a Kindle? She asked for a Kindle uh, probably about six, seven, eight months ago. And I said, no, nah, I'm not going to get you no Kindle. You're not going to read. This is when she first started. She's, she's one of those uh, that she'll start doing something, then she'll do it for a little while and stop. But I noticed she was reading a lot. So I said, you know, I'll buy her a Kindle. And... Uh, she wanted the 2023 version of it, the 32 gigabyte one. And so I looked at Best Buy and all they had was the 2022 version and it was an eight gigabyte instead of 32 gigabytes. And so I got to reading the reviews on it and it has good reviews on it and a lot of people said they love it. Uh, they said they liked the physical book, but they got went ahead and got a Kindle, and they say they love the Kindle now because they take it with them, and they got all their books on it and everything. And then the, the only thing that concerned me was it only being eight gigabytes for storage. And so I looked, and they said the eight gigabyte Kindle, you know they have stuff installed on it software installed on it. They said you get about six gigabytes. And so I Googled how many books you could get on an eight gigabyte Kindle. And then when I was reading it, it says you got about six gigabytes of storage total. And uh, they said a typical book is about a one megabyte. So you can get around 6,000 books on one of those things. So I say, well, that's plenty. So we just went up there and got the eight gigabyte Kindle. I think it was $135. We got her the paper white. I guess that's the better one because they had another one that was $99. It was a six inch one. And the, pa <coughs> the paper white's a 6.8 inch. <coughs> So we went up there and got it. And then right there by the candle they have the they have a cover for it. And they wanted they want forty something dollars for that cover. And so I asked if they had, you know, just a universal one for it, and they didn't. So we went ahead and got her that cover. It ended up costing two hundred bucks for it but you know if she's gonna use it and read I don't mind spending it spending the money on that so we got her that 
And, and I tell you, I just, I could not get over how small them things are. They're not much bigger than a phone. But I tell you, but I tell you, I got her to pull a book up for me, and I was surprised how well you could read the text on it. I mean, I'm sitting there thinking, well, that text is going to be real small, but it's really not. So, <clears throat> so I got her that, and she's already got her about six or seven books on there now. So, so that's about what we did yesterday. Then we went out to, while we were out there at Best Buy, Sam's is out there close to Best Buy, it's just across the interstate. So we went ahead and went to Sam's and got some stuff. We, we got a rotisserie chicken. That's what we had for supper last night. I tell you, you can't, you can't beat those rotisserie chickens from Sam's. I mean, it's a big old chicken. It's like, and it's, and it's only $5. I, mean, I don't think you could go buy a chicken and cook it for that price. So, or a chicken that big anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there one day and get a get one of those chickens and make make some gumbo with it. Instead of buying a chicken and cooking it, just buy that one that's already cooked make you some gumbo my mom my mom showed me how she made hers oh it's good nothing like a good gumbo put some chicken and sausage and shrimp in it and put it over some rice Ooh, I'm getting hungry right now So I think I'm gonna call it a video. That's that's the house where she uh, dog sits right there. That's where she'll be. It's not it's not very uh, it's not very far from where we live. So all right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see y'all in the next one. Later.